Hello, out, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the winter sports season here on WCET TV. Tonight we feature the Schoolcraft Eagles and the Uni Christian Crusaders. Doing alongside tonight is Jeff Wiswery, and it's glad to be we're back with Unity and starting our spring or our winter sports season. Yeah, it's a great time to be back. Um, Unity off to a little bit of a slow start this year at one and four. And uh, things aren't going to be easier tonight going against the uh, defending state champs um, from Division Three last year, yes. Schoolcraft. Yeah, Schoolcraft Eagles uh, only losses last uh, the 30th of, of December in a close battle, 43-41 to Fort Stills Northern. That's their only loss uh, this season, and only win for Unity is uh, their kind of crosstown rival and. Uh, Calvin Christian, 67-59. So our starting laps are being announced as we speak. Yeah, Schoolcraft's going to go with number two, Eli DeVisser. He's a senior. He was a key player on the team last year. Number three, Shane Risky, a junior. Number 11, Count Holtram, a junior. 32, Jaden Vanderweer, a junior. And I didn't catch their fifth starter. I right? did not either. So we'll get to that fifth starter here shortly. And uh, Uni's under the head leadership of their longtime uh, coach and Scott Sotsma. Uh, on this court since uh, 2015 is 64 and 11 overall. Uh, and that's since the 15 16 school year when they started here. Yeah, they. Um They've been dominant. They have a number of division, or I'm sorry, conference championships, regional championships, and then of course yep. the state championship as well. So yeah. we're gonna go with uh, Newen Heist, the junior, Mitch Tibby, the senior, TJ Fisher, another junior at the guard spot, um, um, Jake Vanda, um, Belthaus, a senior, and then Chapman, the sophomore, number 32, is gonna go for Unity. Unity last year. Uh, Lost to Catholic Central in a good game at uh, West Catholic. You, you look back at that team last year, they, they were primed to go, but they just had one little roadblock in their way, and that yep. was in the district final. The other starter for a schoolcraft is Tucker Walther, a sophomore, number five. So this is a very young schoolcraft team. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe every one of their starters is an underclassman. So. Um, no, I'm sorry, they got one senior, DeVisser's a senior. The other four are underclassmen, three juniors and a sophomore, and they're off to a hot start this season, so that bodes yep. well for this season and next season for the, the Eagles. Schoolcraft only has two seniors, and the tip is underway, and it's going to be won by the Eagles of Schoolcraft. Now again, they, yeah. as I was going to say, look for Unity Christian to play the high-pressure man-to-man. They'll switch everything. It's kind of the Scott Sotsma trademark here. Oh, a nice curl there by Schoolcraft. They had two good chances there, but uh, Unity will capitalize, and here they come on the their first possession of uh, tonight's ball game. Doing our camera tonight is the person just coming out of retirement, but uh, he's in still in retirement. To Alan Dodds as the shot is good for number ten. C.J. Fisher for two. And yeah, Fisher with a nice move to the free throw line, pulled up for the jumper and hit it. Unity Christian with an early two nothing lead. So Unity on the on the on top here, two nothing, and here they go with the basketball once again. New and Heist with two quick rebounds. So that's New and Heist with the basketball for the Crusaders. Fisher feeling it, but no. Nice rebound there for the Eagles, number 32, Vander Weir. Nice stuff there by number 10, it looks like. TJ Fisher, but he's gonna be called for the foul here. Well, look, I think that was Jake Belthouse's man, and he tripped coming down yep. court, and then Fisher had to come over to help, and he committed the foul on the shot. So first first team, team first. And at the line is number two, DeVisser, for the Eagles of Schoolcraft. Looking to get on the board, they'll get on the board with a free throw. DeVisser, the lone senior starting here, lefty at the line for a second shot. And he hits it. So we're tied at two. Here comes uh, Schoolcraft, a little bit of a soft man-to-man -man press. Unity Christian again wants to, wants to 
kind of keep this game close into the second half. That's Fisher over to Tibby. Shot for two just off the edge of the rim, and it will go to the Eagles of Schoolcraft. I thought we had a tip there as Sat Siltz was asking for it, but not forthcoming. I didn't look like a tip to me. Well, Scott well it might have been on, a, on, on the shot, too. It, but well, Scott saved. Soltz was calling for a block on the shot. I mean, oh, the, shot the, was, shot, okay. the shot was three three feet short of the rim, so. Scourcecraft Eagles and the Crusaders tied at two. Their shot, three-point shot, no good. For the Schoolcraft Eagles, number five. And it's a triple try off the rim. It's the rim, and cleanup duties are good by number 22. 32, that's Chapman, the sophomore. Sorry, Chapman. Nice Senior. rebound, went right back up with it, kept the ball high, and got the conversion for the Satyrs. These numbers are kind of hard to read for the Uni a little bit. Uh, they're especially number 10 in a... New and the steal, nice pass to Feldhaus, got a two-on-one. He's going to put it up, what but it's going to be no shot, so... What do we have here? Fouls on the floor. Fouls going to be number five. Boy, that's a tough call. I mean, that's a breakaway. You gotta, you gotta um, allow that shot to happen. That should have been two shots, in my opinion, for Feldhaus. Chapman, a little hard off the back. Tipped out by Feldhaus to Neuenhuis. Neuenhuis has it back over to number 10 in Fisher. Yeah, and we're gonna pick up another foul here on Schoolcraft. Yeah, that's number five. That's gonna be a second. Yep, he's gonna have to sit for a while here. In comes number 10 for Schoolcraft. That's no, that is a Jared, Jared Feller. Jared Feller, another junior. Again, a very young team here for Schoolcraft. Tibby up top, looking for, they're trying to get it down low to Chapman or Veldhaus. Trip try off, and the rebound will be held for a, what they usually call a timeout, uh, jump ball, it's a tie ball. And it will stay with the Crusaders. Four to two is the score. Crusaders on top five and 21 to go here in our first quarter. Glad you joined us from Uni Christian High School here on what was a downpour just about a half hour ago, a wet one. And we're on the Uni Christian Athletics YouTube page, so hello to those people watching today. Boy, Newen Heist with a tough shot there, a little fadeaway. Fisher tried to get it inside and it got picked off by Schoolcraft. Here they, oh! Nice block there. By number 10, Ian Fisher. Comes out of nowhere and slots it away right in the student section. So Schoolcraft will retain possession. So it'll be Divisor with the basketball. Gets it out to three and risky. He'll dribble around. His defender was and still is. <laughs> Number 10, and Fisher inside. They'll work it out. Well, the Eagles of Schoolcraft. Schoolcraft in the road, purple. The deep three shot, no good. And rebound will go to Neuenheis. Tibby with the rebound. Sorry, that's Tibby. See, I, I, <laughs> when they fall down, I, I, I lose numbers here. So Neuenheis has the ball now. It's our first action of the uh, 20. 223 sports season and winter side this time. Veldhaus. Nice job there by Veldhaus, yes. Beauty Christian trying to do a high low there and they had Chapman double team, so um Veldhaus was open for the jumper from the free throw line and drained a good shot for Veldhaus. Yep. That puts Unity up 6-2. Halfway through the first quarter is 6-2 as Jeff Wisbury, my partner, says, and that foul's gonna be a number five, Mitch Tibby. That's good. The cookie jar. That's good defense there. I, I don't I don't know if I totally agree with that call. Right. Slow substitutions for both teams. Ewan Heiss will go out and Veltels will go out. Shaban and Vanderwall in for the Crusaders for the Eagles. For the Eagles, number 22. Yep, 22 is Sampley and the other one is 30, Fisher Holmes. It's risky on the basket. Nice little floater by R Rixie. So you have some subs in now. Unity Chris is going to probably try to keep getting the ball inside to Chapman and Vanderwall. Skip pass over to Fisher. It was a dangerous pass, too. It wasn't quite in the spot, but he got there. 
You know, he's setting it up right now. That's number 12 for the Crusaders in Vanderwall. Boy, Chapman's got some good position down there. They got to try to get him the ball. There he is. Nice pass by Tibby. Yes, Tibby to, as you said, Chapman. He has four points now to lead the Crusaders, and it's 8-4 now. Crusaders on top of the Eagles, the school crowd. Make no mistake about it, Unity Christian wants to get the ball into the sophomore, Chapman. Nice defense and a rebound there for 22. That's Sampley, and it's going to stay with the Schoolcraft Eagles for our Division Three, and they only got 298 students this year. Unity is over 600, 639 in Division Two. Schoolcraft having a little hard time getting it in, and they will get it in. Scott Sochma, Scott Sochma, I'm sorry, is imploring his uh, defenders to get up on the Eagles to apply some pressure. High screen. And two shots will be given on the drive. The number three at the line. Falls him in number 11, Micah Aerosmith. First one is good for number three. Risky. Lie DeVisser checks back in for the Schoolcraft Eagles, and back at the, still at the line is Shane Risky. They shoot another one. It's 8 5. Make it 8 6. He has four points now, does Shane? And here comes the Crusaders. UD Christian still with a two point lead. Again, look for them to get the ball in. We gotta look for Vanderwall now since Chapman's taking a rest. Aerosmith into Vanderwall. That was beautiful. Nice yep. high low feed from Aerosmith. That's Vanderwall's first two points, and it's now back out to a four point lead. It's 10 6 now. Crusaders up by four with two and 15 to go. On the drive, puts one up, no good. Uni's got Bodies look to hit run. the floor. Oh boy, he had Vanderwall down low. Missed Fisher for a three. Oh, Off the other side and lead number 22. So Uni Christian's trying, Christian trying to get the ball down low to their big man. Well, if you see Schoolcraft, watch him closely. They're trying to get to the rim off the dribble. So a little bit of a contrast here in offensive styles. Deep three is good for number three, Shane Risky. Rick. He has a total of seven points right now for the Schoolcraft Eagles. Boy, Shout Vanderwall. Vanderwall, the yeah. nice little spin move. Went back to his right hand and, and poured it in. Give UD Christian 12-9 lead. That's number three in. Oh, Shaban almost with the steal. Yeah. Deep three again. He'll answer. Back-to-back -back threes. Rixey. It's now tied at 12. Crusaders. Let the, the Schoolcraft Eagles back in. A little white shot there for the Crusaders, and the Eagles will have a under a minute to go in our first quarter. It's three for three for Risky. Might have got away with a little bit of a push off on that one. Yeah. Nevertheless, drained yep. another three. That kid is flat out on fire. 12 or nine, nine on three. Is a free throw and two, two free throws in the inside. It's T.J. Fisher. It's now 15-14. Crusaders down by one. Well, you know number three is going to look to shoot. Shaban's all over him. And that's what you need, or Scott Tolson wants. You want you want him to. Not, I thought he drove into it. I thought it was a travel call, but we're going to get the hack to the arm. That's Veltaus, his first. Boy, that's a. Sotsma's getting a little animate right now, and I, I can agree with some of the, this last call. I don't agree with it, but, yeah. So I, back uh, to the line. I agree with what uh, Coach Sotsma said. He said you can't bail him out. That's exactly what he did. Risky drove in. Three people from Unity converged on him, and they called kind of, in my opinion, a little bit of a cheap foul. Got him to the line. He did miss the first, though, so. 
He'll be at the line for a second with 15 seconds to go here in the um, first quarter. Two, two out of three from the line. It's now three out of four. Unity will look to get one last shot here to end the quarter down two. Yep, down two with 10 seconds to go. Let's see what they draw up here with five seconds to go. He'll spin, toss it out. And it's going to be a long call down and turn around, shot, no good. And after one quarter of play, it is the Schoolcraft Eagles 16 and the Uni Christian Crusaders 14. We will see you in just, a, or communicate with you in just a few moments. You're watching WCT TV Sports. DJ's Pizza Plus, located at 3471 Kelly Street in Hudsonville, DJ's is newly remodeled and ready for you to stop in. Grab a drink and watch the game, or try some delicious pie. A proud sponsor of WCET TV Sports and In the Zone, DJ's Pizza Kitchen is available for buy the slice, dining in with family and friends, carry out, and delivery. DJ's Pizza Plus, thank you for supporting WCET. Welcome back to Uni Christian High School with a trail by two points, 16-14 to the Schoolcraft Eagles. Schoolcraft Eagles have gnawed their way back into this basketball game. Unity had a six-point lead at one time, and now Schoolcraft has a two-point lead. The Schoolcraft Eagles are led by Rixie, who has 14 of the 16 points, and they will retain the basketball. For the second quarter, it's number two in DeVisser. Gets a little risky. Udy with the high pressure man to man, Tibby all over Risky. They're going to uh, definitely keep a close eye on him as he has a majority of the Eagles' points. He's always looking to shoot, looking to set up his defender. Went by Vanderwall. You already got the upswing here. Let's see if they can oh, nice pass. They will. And Veldhaus no good. And they'll get it out to Neuenheist the triple. No. Third time and they will get somehow not get it into Veldhaus. Veldhaus had a good chance at it. Just come up empty does the Crusaders. One minute to get into the second quarter. And that will be the Crusaders in Neuenheis has it. Gets it over to three, Shaban. Shaban will drive, pull it up, and it's good. And one for Dylan Shaban. Nice take there by Shaban. Unity Christian wants to run when they can. I mean, obviously yep. they want to get the ball down low to the big guys, but if they have an opportunity to run, they're definitely going to do it. Um, Schoolcraft, again, is just going to try to continue to get to the basket off the dribble. So UD Christian's man-to-man -man and help side defense is going to be critical here moving forward. So Shaban will uh, get the chance for the end one here. Chance for a three-point play, and it's good. UD Christian retakes the lead. Yeah, just like that. 17-16 now. Crusaders up by one. A little soft press by Unity. That's DeVisser with the basketball. Oh, and he and threw it away. Aaron Pass, intended receiver, was number 30 in Fisher Holmes. And Holmes was nowhere in sight, but he was there at the time when he threw it. It just, he took off. So the Crusaders will have it. The lead by one, 17 16, with six and a half to go. That's doing heist. Uh, looking inside to Chapman. Chapman's going to put it up, and we're going to get a foul on Schoolcraft. Schoolcraft's fourth foul now. Yeah, it's going to be the down low show for Unity. They're going to continue to try to get um, Chapman or Hugo Vanderwall open down low. They feel they have a big advantage down there, and I believe they do with their height advantage over Schoolcraft. Vanderweer with a second foul. Jake Chapman misses his first. He'll get the second. Unity. Sampley checks in for the Eagles. Here's Chapman second. It's up. And that's also no good. Sampley with a rebound. They can almost, you almost put it on the ground too. Could have been a travel, but 
Risky over to, that's number 10 in Fisher, or not Fisher. Oh! Newenice, Feller. Newenice with the near steal. And guess what? It's going to stay with Schoolcraft as it goes off of number five, it looks like. Mitch Tibby. Schoolcraft will have it. That's number 30 in Fisher Holmes. Number 10 in TJ Fisher. Subbing in of Belthouse. It's risky. It's been quiet. For a little while here, at least. That's Holmes over to number 11 in Hot Rim. And it's going to go to the Crusaders. Yeah, again, if Unity Christian can keep that um, good man to man defense going, that's going to um, result in turnovers. And you got you got to answer here for your Unity here. And, you got to get difficult points. Yep. Difficult shots for Schoolcraft. And you want to score like on, the, uh, on a turnover. Is driving and pulling in number 10. T.J. Fisher. A little bit of a screen there by Chapman. Gave him a clear path to the basket. Fisher converted. He has six now to lead the Crusaders. 19-16. Crusaders up by three. Oh, another steal by Ewan. He knew in heights with the ball. See if he gets it over to Tibby. He does. Tibby, no look. Feet inside. No good. And they were looking for the kind of lead a LEO almost type play. Well, maybe Chapman might have been better served to come down with that ball. Yep. Gather himself. Go a timeout to Schoolcraft. It'll be the first timeout of the game. And it will be a 30 second timeout. How many people we have joining us right now, Brian? Right now we have a total of 35 people. Well, all 35 of you, welcome <laughs> to the <laughs> first game of 2023 for Unity Christian as they get ready to, to move into conference play here soon. The OK Blue, the defending champs of the OK Blue. It's always hard for me to say that because back when my son played, we were in the OK Green. Yeah. So now it's and the, the blue. And, and they were in the white for a little while there. Before that, they're in the white. Oh. Yeah. So it's a little get a bit realignment here shortly. I think it's next school year, the year after that, we get another realignment. Hopefully, yeah, I think it, it favors. I think it's. I think next it might year. be the end of this year, actually. Yeah, yeah I think. going into next year. Yeah, so with the wait with that comes in. It'll be interesting. Cause a lot of schools, Caledonia's really gotten big. Um, yep. Some other, the Four Hill schools are growing. S some schools have dropped. Some I mean, have dropped. Correct. Yeah, you got to look at it. Calvin's on the per. I mean, if they had football this year, they would have been division like eight. So, or seven or eight, so it's a small day. They were going in the hunt, and it's 1916 after the timeout by Schoolcraft. Three minutes into the second quarter, Schoolcraft trails by three, and no shots going to be on the floor. Shooting will be, or actually, the inbound will be for the Schoolcraft Eagles. Dylan Chaban, his first. Team number five. Oh, that would have been a nice pickoff attempt there. The carries on, successful in driving is risky. They put it up and in. This risky's got a lot of strength. You can tell he's not super quick, but very strong, very thick. Yep. Um, gets to the basket, will kind of hesitate a little bit sometimes. Goes up strong with the ball, real good ball player. So the Crusaders now lead by one. They were up by three at the one point. TJ Fisher for two. Thought about it, drove, found him, popped the uh, open shot there. Is eight now. 21 18 is the score. Unity on top by three. Almost got uh, Schoolcraft into a trap there, nearly half court line. They work it out. It'll be a number 11. And that will go to Coach Scott Sotsma, will have the basketball. Freddie's out of bounds. Aerosmith will check in. Uh, Coach Sotsman not too, not too thrilled with uh, T.J. Fisher there on that near steal he almost had. But the pressure of Unity is really starting to get to Schoolcraft just a little bit. Ever since uh, Scott Sotsman said uh, get up on him, they've, they've worked themselves into that little stepped up right, right against them. But they left open. Sampley. Sampley's oh. no good. Oh. And Sampley's going to get a foul here. 
Hard foul there by Sampley. Just coming down with the arm up and get him. I thought Sampley might have been fouled on the shot. No call, and then he fought after the rebound hard and got Fisher in the face. He's up all right. And he'll have the basketball, Will Fisher. 21-18, three and a half to go here in the second quarter. Glad you joined us for a Uni Christian High School. The Crusaders looking to up their record right now. They only got one win it's against Calvin. Looking to. Oh, nice passing by the Saders. Chapman with a little bit about 10 footer. Look at Earl, Earl nice. Smith on the floor. Nice job by Earl Smith there. And number 10, Feller. Be a tie up. And it will stay with the Crusaders. Aerosmith came out of nowhere to get that one, too, because Feller had it, and then Aerosmith came down right with it. You know, he gets it to Neuenheis. It'll be TJ Fisher. And it'll be a turnover for the Crusaders. Odd man rush for the Schoolcraft uh, Eagles. Holtram with the baskets, 21-20. Crusaders up by one. It's been a seesaw affair here. Unity was up for a while, and then it was tied, and then Schoolcraft was up, and now Cal Nunez gets two. Nice play there, a little back uh, and forth action. A little four out. They got Newey on a post up down low. Got his man on his hip and went to the basket. 23-20 is the score. Two and 15 to go. I'd like to thank Alan Dodds for coming tonight, running our camera tonight. It's his first production since being retired. In a little over a year. Beauty Christian Sampley, up three. Yeah, Sampley wants to get released there. Nice guard. And we're going to ticky tack foul there on Fisher. He's got his hand caught in the cookie jar. Still not in the bonus, but Beauty Christian's defense is really getting to schoolcraft a little bit. I'm surprised they don't try to take him to the basket off the dribble with the aggressive defense unit he's We're playing. Have multiple substitutions here. And our producer today says he's a little rusty still. So it's only his first time. So we got to give him a little doing a nice job tonight. I'd like to thank him for stepping in. Normally I'd be doing it. We got some exciting news at the, once halftime gets over, we'll have some exciting news. From the station. The three point try, no good for the Crusaders. Oh, and clear Aerosmith. up duties, Aerosmith still up in the air. Aerosmith gets the rebound. And they'll back it out, will the Crusaders. Set it up here with New and Heiss. That's Tibby. Trying to work it across, and they do. Bad shot there by number 11, I believe. And Aerosmith, and it was. 23-20, and one minute to go. Deep three, off. Rebound will be corralled by the Schoolcraft Eagles. It looked like it went off of Schoolcraft, but referee says it goes off of Unity. One and 0-2. Oh also like to thank the athletic director here at... Uh, at Unity, along with his many cohorts. Nice rebound Baker, by Belthaus. Matt Baker, we're getting us set up here. That's triple try, good for Neuenheis. That's their first triple of the game. 26-20, 40 seconds to go here. Till we reach our halftime break, it's Unity Christian by six, and the foul's gonna be on the floor. Looks like it's going to be on number five, Mitch Tibby. See if it. That's going to send yep. Schoolcraft to the line. One, one in the bonus. That's a second. Nobody's really in foul trouble for either team. <laughs> Multiple substitutions here. We got another one. 
like to thank our referees too for uh, doing a fantastic job. We couldn't do it without. I mean, you couldn't have a game without them. That's what the sport's all about is refereeing. 26, 20, 35.6 seconds to go. The and one is for Risky is good. Four for five right now. Looking to go five for six from the line. He's only missed one so far. And he makes the second, so he's five for six. Beauty Christian will look to go for one shot here with 30 seconds to go, up four yep. before the half. 26-22, um, Risky has 18 points of the 22 for uh, Schoolcraft. They shut him down uh, for quite a long time there. We'll dribble us out, that'll be Fisher. 17 seconds to go. Thanks for joining us. Schoolcraft of the division, de defending state champion division three. Triple try. No good, tip around, and that's, I think, how we're gonna end our first first half of play. 26-22, Crusaders up. We'll join you in a few moments. DJ's Pizza Plus, located at 3471 Kelly Street, Hudsonville. DJ's is newly remodeled and ready for you to stop in. Grab a drink and watch the game, or try some delicious pie. A proud sponsor of WCET TV Sports and In The Zone, DJ's Pizza Kitchen is available for buy the slice, dining in with family and friends, carry out, and delivery. DJ's Pizza Plus. Thank you for supporting WCET. Welcome back to the second half of action. So Risky has 18 of the 22 points for the Schoolcraft Eagles, and they trail by four. But uh, the exciting news, you, everybody's probably been waiting for that exciting news. We have a new uh, station manager as of February 1st. They will be put into a situation that's kind of been a long time coming. Uh, we're our station, current station manager, uh, Kurt Wilson, has moved on to brighter paths, and yours truly has taken over the uh, station manager duties and until uh, for the forthcoming starting February one. All right. And sports directing. Oh and boy. Produce, producing everything, so I got the whole ball of wax coming at me here February 1st. Sounds like you're going to be a little busy. Yes, I'm going to be a little busy. Uh, John Locke beside me tonight is Jeff Wisbury and Jeff uh, Schoolcraft, Division uh, Three state champion, looking like they are a real division, uh, a real threat here tonight. They well, especially on. with number three, Risky. I mean, he's got 20, yep. he's got 18 of their 22 points and uh, he's been playing really good. They did shut him down there for a little bit midway through the second um, quarter. Why don't you go through, if you don't mind, Brian, the uh, Unity scoring. Yep, Unity scoring uh, is led by, or uh, Colin Noon High School at five, three for Dylan Shaban, eight for TJ Fisher, four in the first, four in the second, uh, four for Hugo Vanderwall, two for Jacob Felthaus, uh, and four for Jake, uh, Jake Chapman. So pretty equal scoring for Unity, which yep. is kind of their MO, but make no mistake about it, they do want to pound the ball down low uh, to Chapman and Vanderwall. Look for Unity to keep their high pressure defense um, going against Schoolcrafts. I think they were able to stem the tide a little bit. Schoolcrafts on a little mini run there to start, end the first quarter, start the second quarter, but Unity picked up the pressure on defense and it kind of yeah. uh, stalled the Eagles just a bit. Yeah, and uh, Unity had, uh, I think, a six point lead at one time. It and Schoolcraft trimmed it down, and uh, now it's back to back and forth action. We just got a. Uh, well, it was in the first quarter when uh, Scott Sotema said, "Get on, uh, you know, kind of get close," and and that's when that's when uh, Schoolcraft kind of sputtered a little bit. They sputtered. They get they get they get some good drives and uh, get some good shots, but they're they're f not really falling. It's been uh, risky inside. He's five for six from the line. He had 14 in the first quarter and only uh, four in the second. So Schoolcraft's going to get the ball coming out down four, but stay tuned. I think this game's going to come right down to the end as these teams are pretty well evenly matched. Remember, Schoolcraft's yep. the defending Division Three state champion. A lot, of, a lot of kids back and a very young team, only two seniors, and then Unity of 
course, has a tradition, especially recently, of, of really good basketball teams over the last, what, 10 or 15 years, Brian? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Back for quite a while. Uni coming in the game is one and three overall, while Schoolcraft is five and one. Their only loss at the Forest Hills Northern on the 30th of December. And a close affair, 43-41 in overtime against Forest Hills Northern. Uni will uh, look to defend the OK Blue. Oh. They start conference play and almost good, bad inbound there. Just too bad uh, New and Ice couldn't get to it. And again, Unity Christian with the high pressure defense. Un New and Heights right up in Chapman up, hedging the screen. Yep, they're, I mean they're playing right up on your on their uh, their offensive player, and they're not letting them move. They're letting them move, but then slowly uh, caves in. The defense does there for the Crusaders. They work around, oh, tapped out almost by number ten, T.J. Fisher. A triple try in the corner, no good, and a nice rebound there by Fisher. And here comes Fisher for the Crusaders. They'll lead at the M.O. Spin move just short. That would have been a good shot there for number 22 in Felthaus. Spin move no good and rebound goal to Tibby. Gets it over to Fisher. Gets it over to Neuenheis. Neuenheis on the drive. Puts one up. And it's offensive foul on Neuenheis. You can see it coming. You can see the Drive coming in and stepping in there was Schoolcraft. So Kyle Noonheis with his first foul. If he didn't lean in, I think he just, just put it off the glass. I think it would have been safe there. That's Velthaus taking it on at number two. And Risky. Risky, the lead point scorer right now. It was silent in the almost silent in the, that second quarter so the shot is good for the Rixie again. So he's got 20 points with 640 to go here in the third quarter. Obviously Unity Christian has to key on him defensively. And they had him keyed in for a little while. Oh, tip up and no good. And here comes the Eagles of Schoolcraft led by Risky. Deep three is Placed it, and a foul will be on Veldhaus. Kind of a little acting job, I think, after the shot. That's he was he was on the floor, and he got ran over. That's twice Chapman's got the ball down low and tried to make it without coming down. I think Coach Sosa would rather see him come down, gather himself, and then go back up strong. So now Risky's <laughs> going to go to the line for three and have the potential to put Schoolcraft. Well, he won't put him in front since he He's missed the first. Five for seven from the line now. Here's the second attempt. Well, that's good. So he's five for eight from the line. Six for nine. And Udy Christian's four point lead is quickly gone as we uh, we're tied. Approach the six minute mark here in the third quarter. You, again, Udy Christian's gonna continue to try to get the ball down low. There's Chapman, they got him on a high low. Yep, nice pass by Tibby. UD Christian's got that. They just need to keep working it and get a good passing angle, but Chapman's getting some good position down low. Yeah, you gotta use that advantage when you when you can get it, you use it. And right now the advantage for Chapman is it's good to inside passes. Left open and deep three, in and out. And a battle for the rebound is won by the Schoolcraft Eagles, and I don't know about that. It's underneath the hoop and it Basically forced up their shot. Foul will be on number 32. Jake Chapman is first, team is third. Three quick fouls here in less than three minutes, uh, two minutes and 17 seconds in the ball game. It's gonna bounce around and fall for number three. Rixie is seven for 10, 70% shoot free throw shooter right now. Vanderwall and Shaban check in for the Crusaders. And Risky back at the line to shoot one more. Looking to go eight for 11 from the line. And he does. 
That's one player you cannot foul uh, to put on the free throw line. He's eight for 11. Eli DeVisser is the only one that shot a, other ones that shot a free throw. The deep three is good for number 12. You go, Vanderwall. Nice job there by Vanderwall. They get the triple, and they're now back up by three. 31 28. The game was tied at 28. That's risky to deep three. No good. Battle for the rebound is won by the Screwcraft Eagles. Nice box out there by number five. Boy, Unity Christian's got to get those rebounds. Just Battle for the rebound it is. Hugo's got. Oh! Oh, they got and away somehow with Somehow they got it over to number three. Shaban. Shaban for the Crusaders. That's TJ Vanderwall. Or uh, TJ. I'll get that right. TJ Fisher. Foul up. Neuenheist blocked. And the Crusaders, Mitch Tibby, gets it over to three in Dylan Shaban. Back over to Neuenheist. In the corner to 12. That's Hugo Vanderwall. That's Fisher to Tibby inside. There's your high low again. Fisher off, and Tibby gets a rebound. Outside to Neuenheist, the triple. Good! Colin Neuenheist, the triple. 34-28. Neuenheist has eight now. Halfway through the third. Two triples in a row for the Crusaders have given them a quick six-point lead. They'll work it out. The triple try by Schoolcraft, no good. Battle for the rebound is won by T.J. Fisher. Nice box out by Fisher. That's Neuenheis. Looking for somebody. Finds Fisher. Fisher, three-pointer. Three threes in a row for Unity. That's 11 points now for Fisher. 37-28, and we're going to have a timeout to Schoolcraft. Huge run here for Unity. It's getting hot when the time is about right. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Boy, nice job by Unity hitting three threes in a row, starting to heat up from long range to give him a nine-point lead. That high-low has been working well, and that opens up the outside a little bit. Plus, when they run the fast breaks, Schoolcraft is having trouble finding their man, and that's what their coach is upset about is that their defenders are running back, and they're leaving uh, one or two guys wide open for a three-pointer. That's Derek Small, the head coach for the Schoolcraft Eagles of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. The purple and gold are their colors. The enrollment is 298 students. And they average 61.3 points per game while giving up 41.3. Unity averages 53.5 and giving up 59.0 points per game. Well, I think Unity's going to get more than 41. I hope I'm right with a quarter, I would and, think a half, so. a quarter and a half left. <laughs> and I need four more. Unless something drastically happens when they get shut down, but that's Sampley. That was number 10 in Feller, over to two in DeVisser. Popped up in the ground, uh, in the air, gets it to Walter. He'll drive, he'll put one up, he'll actually pass it over, hot corner, no good, it's risky, and Sampley will get the rebound. They'll work it back top to the Wolf School Craft. 37 28, 3 and 10 to go. Third quarter of play. That one's going to fall. Just get in there. Boy, Coach Soats was not happy because they just can't clear the boards and they're giving Schoolcraft second and third opportunities. And they finally converted there. 26 now for Risky. As he gets the other two points, a triple try to answer. Cohen doing heights. He's hot. That's four threes in a row for the Crusaders, Brian. Yeah, so that's four straight, and they got two by Neuenheis. Two by Neuenheis. One by Fisher, Fisher and one by and, Vanderwall. Yep, yeah, and the other two points come from Jake Chapman. It's 40-30, 10-point lead for the Crusaders. The gap is just slowly widening just enough for the Crusaders, a two and 20 to go. Yeah, Unity up 10. They're going to keep going with this high-pressure defense. They need some help. Oh, Neuenheis steps in. Yep, and he charge. got it. Drew the charge. On good, Walter. Good job Number by five. Colin Neuenheis to step in and take that charge. After he did a charge down on this end of the court. <laughs> he did a few minutes earlier. That is correct. Walter is third. That's the only once in foul trouble for Schoolcraft. We see Veltels check in. That's actually T.J. Fisher. He tells you how good I am. I set up here. 
Shaban over to Fisher. Fisher has it, looking for some inside. It's going to be tipped around and won back by the sample of the Schoolcraft Eagles. They have a break now. As Unity's in the bonus right now. Or as possession, sorry, of the, if the tie-up happens. That one's going to oh. go off the bottom of the rim, yep. and it's going to be won by Porting. the Crusaders. Porting go with the steal up to Fisher. Porting goes first uh, chance in the ballgame. He'll put one up, and that one will bounce around, tip around, no good. And it's going to be won by the Crusaders in the corner. They work it inside and putting it up underneath the basket. No good was 12. In Vanderwall, and around the ground, and it will remain with the Crusaders. Vanderwall went up to shoot that. And when he jumped, he goes, oh, goodness, I'm directly underneath the basket. Then so he puts it, he, you know, he, I don't know where you are. He didn't have anything to do with it, but nope. Unity Christian did get the rebound. Got a tie up, and it's their ball out of bounds. Tibby underneath. Didn't have to go. Tibby's going to try to find somebody open. He does find him. The Sears will work it around. It's going to be simply bumping it out. You can't leave it like a sack of potatoes. Or empty loaf of the bread on the, in the afternoon. That one's going to be over and back if Schoolcraft touches it, and they will. Over and back. Portiga should have went right after it, made a Schoolcraft touch it. Now it's going to be Crusaders basketball. That was a bad pass there by Schoolcraft. See if Unity can take an advantage of that uh, turnover there. I thought Portinga might try to go get that. That's what I was thinking, too. Layup. I think the coach was thinking the same thing. Coach Sotz, my boy, look for... Sample is going to top it up, though. Yeah, Unity Christian's going to keep trying to get that into Vanderwall. Or Fisher. That was Fisher this time. Tried to get it. Holmes checks in. And Risky will take a seat. He'll be out. Let's see if uh, Uni can take advantage now. He'll be out for a minute six, and that's all I can almost guarantee you. Boy, they have active. Balls on the floor. And Schoolcraft has very active hands. They get, Uni yep. Christian's got to keep the ball high. They keep bringing it down, and the Eagles knock it away. Yeah, if you hold it down by your just by your knees, you got to hold it up way above your head because that's a good advantage if you can hold it above your head. Under a minute to go, 45 seconds to go. And a drive by Schoolcraft. No good. And it should go to Crusaders. As it was tipped out by number 10 of the Screwcraft Eagles. That is Feller. So number three for the Crusaders will toss the ball in, and that is Shaban. He'll get it in to Fisher with 40 seconds to go, and Uni might be contempt here to hold it for one if they Schoolcraft can let him. It looks like they're going to let him. Looks like, so Unity still has a 10 point lead, 40 to yep. 30. We're winding down here in the third quarter. Unity has three team fouls, Schoolcraft only one. So Unity Christian wants to go into the uh, end of the quarter with at least a 10 point lead, hopefully a 12 or 13 point lead. They don't want to come up empty after uh, Schoolcraft gave it to you. 10 seconds to go. Get it over to Tibby in the corner, or to Veldhaus. Veldhaus on triple yes. with five seconds to go. Oh, that's Unity Christian ball. That's yep. Unity ball. He knocked it off the foot at number five. Um, uh, For Schoolcraft, that's Walter. Walter, and then yep. Unity Christian's going to get that great uh, pass also by Tibby. Let, let. Drew the defense and kicked it out to Veldhaus yep. for the wide open three. They got 1.2 seconds to go. Still time to get a good shot off here. Just got to get a good attempt. You just can't get oh, a bad Oh, there's Veldhaus. Veldhaus. Spin move, up, oh. almost in. And after end of the three quarters, it is Uni with a 13 point lead, 43-30. And we'll be back right after this. You're watching high school basketball here on WCT TV, your local cable access station. DJ's Pizza Plus, located at 3471 Kelly Street in Hudsonville. DJ's is newly remodeled and ready for you to stop in. Grab a drink and watch the game or try some delicious pie. A proud sponsor of WCET TV Sports and In the Zone, DJ's Pizza Kitchen is available for buy the slice, dining in with family and friends, carry out, and delivery. DJ's Pizza Plus. Thank you for supporting WCET. We'll go back to Indy Christian High School where the Crusaders have a 13 point lead after three quarters of play. They outscored Schoolcraft in that third quarter 21 to 8. 
Yeah, just what the doctor ordered for the <laughs> Crusaders to get out to yep. a nice little lead. They need to make sure that they keep their eyes on number three, um, Risky. Rick, yep. I mean, he's got how many points now, 20, Brian? 26 of the 30. So <laughs> I don't you look I, at that. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that where a player's got 26 of their 30 points. That's incredible. Who's got their other four points? Uh, two for uh, Divisor and two for Hotrum. Wow. And Divisor, Divisor scored those two in free throws to start the ball game, I believe. And then uh, Holtram uh, had two points in that second quarter about a minute to go. So Sampley over for the Schoolcraft Eagles. That's Risky, the hot shooting Risky. Now it's going to be intercepted by the Crusaders and staved, and it's going to go off of Schoolcraft, but it's going to actually go off of Felthaus as it's falling out of bounds. First thought it was going to be Unity basketball there. I just didn't see Velthaus fall out of bounds. So that's Risky with the basketball over to three. In a, that's actually Risky three is. Two is Divisor. Divisor has the pink shoes and Risky has the white knee uh, pad there. That one's going to be bounced around. Every time they get it into Sampley, he's not had a good... Uh, Attempt in it. It's usually stolen by the Crusaders. Wide open in Svelthaus. Nice find there from TJ Fisher. Nice break by Unity. They got the ball out quickly and beat the Eagles down the court to open up a 15 point lead. He has seven points now. Does the Crusaders Jacob Velthaus. That'll be Fisher's third. He'll go out with 11 points right now. Dual honors right now for Newland Heiss and Fisher. They both have 11 to lead the Crusaders. In case you just join us at 6 and 49 to go. Boy, what a move there by yep. Risky. That was outstanding. He took it and found the, end, the bottom of the basket. It's 28 now. That was some tough shot there, too, for Risky. Back door. Pretty good. No good. Tip up, Timmy. No good. It's going to be off of number five. Good good uh, job there by number 22 in Belthaus. Belthaus, good hustle there. Knock got it the, off. Yep. Got the uh, ball off of the eagle. Welter. Welter again. Vanderweer will check in for the Schoolcraft Eagles. 45, 32, 13 point lead. Six and a half to go. A minute and a half into the fourth quarter. It's. Two points apiece for each team here in the, in the fourth quarter. Chapman's been on the bench for quite a while for Unity Christian. And they've done good with, a, with basically with him on the bench. The tip up is good. Nice drive, nice drive. Nice drive there by Shaban. He gave a pump fake, one dribble layup. That was outstanding by number three, Shaban. Yep. 47-32, a 15-point lead for the Crusaders. Six, two minutes into the fourth quarter. Six minutes to go. That's number three in Risky. He's looking for 32 inside, and that was Vanderweer. Pump shot is attempted by number five, Walter, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Two of the fouls on. It's going to be number three, Dylan Shaban is second. It's Walter who will go on to shoot two. That one's going to roll around and fall. That's his first points of the ball game. At least one. Make it two. No, he's one for two from the line. It's 47-33. He'll need the advantage of 14 points. Inside look for Veldhaus will remain with the Crusaders. That was a nice try there to get into Veldhaus. So you will set it up with Newen Heist tossing the ball in, guarded by Divisor. Newen Heist will get it in. That's Portinga. Shaban. Newen Heist. They'll work around to Veldhaus. Veldhaus will drive. Be tipped out to Newen Heist. The reset at the top. No good. Port that was not Portinga. That was nice hustle there by the Crusaders. Number five. 
Mitch Tibby, and they'll stay with the Crusaders. Boy, somewhat of a quick call on that. I thought Tibby ripped that out of there pretty quick, but yep. the official was quick on the jump call. That's, uh, I know that official, and I can't think of his name right now, so it'll come to me. Glenn Echelkamp. Yep, former Whitecaps employee. Good shot Mitch, by Mitch Tibby. Mitch Tibby, a nice shot from the inbounds play. That's his first points of the ball game. And that stretches Unity out their biggest lead to 16 points. That's Tibby there guarding Risky. And that one's er, going to go off of Risky. Here go the Crusaders. Number three in Shiban. Feldhaus with a three-pointer off the mark. That's five in Welker. It's it over to two, uh, Divisor. That's Walter. Looking for somebody else and finds Risky. He'll drive. He'll pass it out. Schoolcraft to get a, a tough shot there. Number two, Divisor. And we get a whistle here and a timeout. 49 35 is the score. 4 and 21 to go here in our fourth quarter. Schoolcraft will call another timeout. That's the third timeout. They have two remaining. I'd like to thank our scoreboard operator today. Doing a fantastic job. So uh, South, or I'm sorry, um, Schoolcraft calls timeout with 421 to go. Unity up 14 with the ball. Again, watch for Scott Soltzman here in the next remaining four minutes to kind of take a little bit of the air out of the ball. Yep. UD will work it, try to get a good shot. They're gonna, I believe they'll keep working, trying to get the ball down low. They've had a lot of success down there. Schoolcraft doesn't have a lot of height, and uh, UD's had a lot of success down there. And also look for UD Christian to continue the uh, high pressure defense as the game continues. Looking for the sweep by the Crusaders. The freshman game went uh, kind of a Lopsided affair for the Crusaders. 77-15 was the score. JV game went towards uh, the tilt towards the Uni, and right now Uni's looking, they're up 14 with 4 and 21 to go here, looking for the sweep with Schoolcraft. So Uni will have the basketball. The inbound it will be Shaban. He'll get it in to Fisher, back to Shaban. That's Fisher again. That's Portinga. Portinga will look to get to the top. He'll drive, put one up, and it's blocked by other than Sampley. I thought Portinga forced that a little bit. Again, that's not, I don't think that's what Coach Sotsman wants right here. You nope. think like to look for something a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier shot. So it'll be Fisher into 32 and Chapman. That's Fisher to the drive. Mismatch there is Fisher. That's Shaban. Shaban will drive. Oh. Pulling up and good. Look a little contact there from Shipley. Yeah, nice finish by Shaban. He had a tough angle there and was able to convert that. 51-35 is the score. 3 and 40 to go. That's the hot man and Risky. Over to 32 in Vanderweer. Back to Risky, who's deep for three, got it. He almost stepped out of bounds again. He has 33 now of 38 points. And that's what they're going to ride every uh, throughout the season. They're going to ride Risky and see how long he can go until he falters. That's supporting good, no good. And getting a rebound is Vanderweer. And then work it around to Wal uh, Walter. That's Risky. He thought about it, drives this time. He's guarded by number three in Dillard Shaban. Pair of threes battling it out. That's Walter. Looking too risky. You could, you'll pull from anywhere. This time, now it, now, now Chapman's on him. He'll drive. A little contact, no forthcoming. Look who gets the rebound, the big guy, 32, in Chapman. Boy, down 13, 
Schoolcraft really doesn't want to take that long to get a shot off. And now we're going to get a timeout to Coach Soats, a full timeout. And now you'll see the full take the air out of the ball, I believe, yep. Beauty Christian. This kind they'll of draw, they'll, they'll, they're going to draw, draw some planes up, you know. Yep. They're not really going to, you know, they're just going to play their kind of basketball, you know. They're just going to pass it around for a little while. And if, if it happened to be a good shot, they're going to take it. They just can't risk a turnover. So um, if Unity Christian can hang on and win this game, it'll be a big win as they head into conference play, yep. which they open on the road Friday night against West Catholic. So yep. that'll yep. be a challenging game. And, and uh, again, they're, I think they've won the OK Blue. As a matter of fact, I don't know if they've, I don't think they've lost a game in the OK Blue since the OK No, they didn't. They lost to uh, um, Catholic Central only lost last year. Yeah, but that wasn't a conference game. No, their last conference game was... Um, Oh, man, I forgot. Should have wrote that down. I didn't think about that part. But, yeah, it's. I don't think Uni Christian's lost an OK Blue game since they've been in it. This is the fourth year. Yeah, you're right, so there'll be one more year. It's every. Yep. This is the fourth year they've been in the OK Blue, and if I'm not mistaken, they're 42-0, they're, um, and 0, I believe, in OK Blue play. Now, <laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't think they've lost a game in OK Blue play. They've had some close battles, but uh, overcome a lot of them. Two and 26 to go after the timeout by Coach Scott Sotsum. Going for his 600th and odd number of wins. <laughs> yeah, he's very. Guy have another timeout. Couldn't get the ball in. Well, people got to get open. He, yep, uh, a 30 Scott, second timeout. Scott, Scott Sotsum was uh, moving up the all time wins list. I believe he's number eight or seven. And I can tell you in just a few seconds here, I got oh. it right in front of me when my papers will correspond to me. Well, Brian's got it, all right, let's go. Hey, I'm I'm on top of it. You gotta, he has, uh, he's, he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth right now, you could go into eight in a couple more games. Okay, and then what about seventh? Seven is quite a stretch. He could probably get there, but probably. How many games is it? Uh, 16 games between uh, oh, yeah. 6.15 to 6.31. So he could get it if he stinks on it. And that would be, uh, I don't know if Kent, uh, the guy from Big Rapids, Kent Ingles, is still coaching, but that's who he's trying to catch. So, in all, I mean, in current current coaches, he's number four. Yeah, he's done a great job uh, with his career. Ninth, probably be eighth or seventh by the end of the year. There goes Neuenheis yep. to the basket. Out to Aerosmith. As you can see, Unity Christian's in a little bit of a semi-stall with 2.13 to go. The problem Schoolcraft's going to have is they only have one team foul. So. Yep, they're going to have to use it wisely when they... They're trying oh, to do a trap. Yep, yep. There's the steal. That's DeVisser. DeVisser's going to drive, put one up, and no good. And foul will be Tibby. That'll be his third. And two will go the line. That's DeVisser looking for points five and six. Now the Uni's in foul trouble here with six. To get back in this ball game, uh, Schoolcraft uh, has five to five more in the safe and six is the uh, bonus. First one is good. So it's 40 points now. Schoolcraft's cut this to 11 so again Unity Christian needs to take care of business. Fisher with the ball over to Newen Heist back to Fisher as Schoolcraft continues to trap. Oh Fisher with a nice spin move. Boy he had Chapman wide open under the basket. He's got to get his eyes up. 32, 34. I have 41 points for uh, Schoolcraft, and I have 40 on the scoreboard. I must have screwed up somewhere in there, but. 144 to go. Unity Christian's going to keep trying to stall a little bit, but again, they got to take care of the ball. Yep. There they go. That's number 32. Yeah, Schoolcraft's, that's Chapman. Schoolcraft's been out high trying to double team and such, and that down low's been open. Chapman with a block. Oh, and they called a foul. That looked pretty clean to me. 
to me they did too, and I didn't want to jinx it. I mean, Judy Christian hanging on to a 13 point lead here with just under a minute and a half to go. Again, Schoolcraft's gonna continue to full court press. Judy's gotta get open. Oh, Fisher left his feet and threw it away. 33 for number three tonight. Shane Risky is 33 of the 41. As Schoolcraft is in the bonus, a single bonus right now. And Sampley will get the rebound, and it tosses it out. He's had a hard time holding on to that basketball. It's a triple try, no good. Sampley with a rebound, and a foul's going to number 32. Chapman. That's his third. It's eight. Sampley looking to get it on the scorebook. He will not, he will not earn the extra free throw. Which Yudi's having a hard time here. Yudi's got to look down court. There's people open, oh, down the court. They got to pass it down the court. That's T.J. Fisher. He's followed up by number three, Sam uh, Risky. His first, team third. Yeah, 58 seconds to go, up by 12. 53-41 is the score. Yudi up by 12. And battle for the rebound, and it's going to go to Schoolcraft. Not handling the bas basketball was number 11. Well, Aerosmith tried, Aerosmith. To, tried to go behind his back when he's double teamed, and that's uh, probably the last the thing sin you want right to do. There. You don't want to do that. 53-41 under a minute, 45 seconds to go, and that should be a charge. Oh. He's going there on, on a little out, out of sorts there. Full head of steam. Aerosmith push him from behind, and uh, that's the call the official got prior to the charge. So Risky's going to go to the line for two to cut this to a 10-point game. Still 45 seconds to go. It's 34 points now. Looking to go 35 now. They can ride him the whole year. They're... They're going to be go quite a long ways. Well, yeah, but he needs some help. I mean, he, yeah, he just scores about all their points. I mean, you got to have some other players contributing. Right. Thirty-six right now. Twenty-eight. Forty-three, fifty, 53-43, a 10-point lead for the Crusaders. That's Mitch Tibby, and you're going to get a foul here. And it's going to be on Schoolcraft. It's going to be on number 10, Filler. It's 34 does risky right now, 34. 53-43, 35 seconds to go. Somebody's got to be open when they double team you. So you know you got to find that one guy. That, you know, he's just patient with the basketball. No rush and shooting. They're up by 10. 20 seconds to go. And a nice shot there by number 11, Errol Smith. Errol Smith with a nice little 10-footer. He has two points now. Chapman with a block, and that's just about going to do it, I think. And I will get to the final tallies in just a few moments. Chapman with a dunk. <laughs> As we, Chapman has 10 points now. And a final score of 57-43. Unofficial scoring 
First of all, for the Schoolcraft Eagles, who fall to five and two overall. It is five for Divisor, or actually four for Divisor. 34 for Risky, one for Walt Walter, and two for Holtrum. And for the victorious Crusaders, who moved their record to two and three overall. Seven for Shiban, two for Mitch Tibby, seven for Hugo Vanderwall, seven for Veltos, 10 for Jake Chapman, 11 apiece for TJ Fisher and Colin Noonhuis. Final thoughts here, uh, Jeff Wiswery, on a 14 point win for Unity. Yeah, they much needed for Unity. Um, some real good balance scoring. Nice job by the both uh, junior guards for Unity, Fisher and Noonhuis with 11 each. I like the high low they were running early with Chapman. And uh, it's a good note to end on heading into their um, conference play on Friday night at West Catholic. Yeah, and my thoughts are is if Schoolcraft's going to make it, they got to have somebody else to go with Risky right now because uh, that's not going to help you going forward because you can't rely on one person to score all your points. Yeah, boy, he's a nice you've seen, you, We've seen that back, uh, back in the heydays with uh, David Cool and uh, all those kind of guys. Drew yeah. Neitzel. They at least didn't have anybody to go with them, but they made it far into the playoffs. And just nobody can stop them. Yeah, Risky's a nice player, but, yeah, they need to get some more players developed. I saw one kid over there on crutches, so maybe he was another starter. But um, nevertheless, I think Schoolcraft will have a nice year and uh, looking forward to Unity's game on Friday. Yeah, let's get that final score, 57-43. Unity wins it by 14, thanks to Mr. Alan Dodds behind the camera today. And for my partner, Jeff Wiswery, We'll say so long and hope he joins us on a future WCT TV broadcast sometime.